Okay, so hello everyone. Today we will be uh, discussing today's problem, uh, today's contest problem C, which was from round nine twenty two, and it's called Zor distance. So let's start by understanding what is the question trying to say. So basically, you would be given three integers a, b, and r, and you need to find the smallest value of this expression, where this expression is uh, denoting a zor x minus b zor x and the absolute difference between them. So first of all before this you just need to understand the expression very carefully so uh, let me give you some example so if uh, a is let's say 12 and b was let's say 13 right and r so basically now r is the maximum range from which you have to select a, such a number x which gives the smallest difference absolute difference between uh, of, from this expression so for example if r was let's say 12 so what you could do is that first thing first approach is the brute force approach what you could do is that you could just iterate from x equals to uh, 0 to x equals to r right and for each x you just evaluate this expression so the brute force time complexity would be uh, order of what uh, order of r because you would be iterating for all the r values multiplied by the value uh, the time to evaluate this expression so that would take an order of 1 times the number of test cases which are there right so and uh, if you evaluate this then then it is order of approx r into t time complexity which would obviously overflow if you can if you just clearly see here so you need to come up with a better solution uh, so let's think by optimizing this so just before that let's take an example itself to uh, understand so let me pick up this example 9 6 and 10 so if the array element is uh, 9 6 and 10 right so sorry not the array if the a value is 9 b value is 6 and r which is the maximum value is what is a 10 so okay the first thing which would come to my uh, your mind should be that uh, since it is involving this Zor operation, so you have to think somewhat of bitwise Zor, right? Bitwise Zor, bitwise Or. So basically, you have to think in the terms of in the line of bitwise operations, right? So for example, let's now uh, try to express these in a binary format. So if you try to express this in binary format, it would look like one zero zero one, and six would look like what? I am trying to express a and b, right? So six would look like 0 1 1 0 right now r is 10 so let's also try to evaluate uh, express this r in terms of binary format so i guess that would be 1 0 1 0 right so now since one once you have evaluated this so this is not the value of x x is basically it lies from the range 1 to r now you have to select such a x which says that if you uh, if you do this operation it will result in a, a minima, minimum value because we want the smallest value correct so what you could do is that uh, let's take the answer itself from the example then we would try to so basically here answer is one right so you need to basically try to find such r which would minimize this expression so if you just carefully see the expression is what a zor x right minus b zor x so to evaluate this expression the first thing which you would try to is do is that you would try to maximize uh, so these two are quantity if these have to be like smallest value so you would try to like minimize the first value and maximize the second value why so because in this way like you would try to uh, you would try to bring both the elements as close as possible right so the first thought was that that you have to bring the both the elements after performing the operation that they come as much close as possible so to do this what you could do you, you now saw that okay you would now try to always obviously evaluate from the uh, highest priority bit so you would try to evaluate from the fourth bit itself so you would now first check like since you now found that okay nine was like this was a right and this was b so since nine was initially greater than six so what you would do is that you would not try to maximize 6, right? Maximize, you would try to maybe do some operations such that 6 value maximizes and 9 value 
it decreases why because since 9 was initially greater than 6 so there is no point of increasing this value right you have to decrease 9 as much as possible and increase the value of 6 as much as possible so this was the second intuition now uh, now you have to think that how can you maximize that so if let's again uh, again find, uh, write that expression so if 9 is 1001 and 6 was zero one one zero. So since at the in the first bit you found that okay, that uh, nine was uh, that first bit here was uh, one was uh, sorry nine was itself bigger than six in the this fourth position right. So now when you would be evaluating for these positions, what you would try to do? So your basically I would here write your aim. So what is your aim? Your aim here is basically to what? Since you would try to maximize, so let's think that in th this was a, this was some random a, it could be, it can be anything, right? 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And for example, it, this was b, because if initially a is greater than this, this had to be 0 in the, in the first bit from the highest priority side. So now it can be, uh, let's assume this is the bit binary format. So you have, you now what you try to do is that the v places where this bit is set to 1 and this place is set to 0 that is a good for you right because that is maximizing b however the places where this bit the a bit is 1 and b bit is 0 what you would do you would basically now since you have now uh, the freedom to choose x so first uh, just now let for a moment th uh, forget that x belongs to 1 to r just for first uh, first imagine that you can choose any value of x right so if you are able to choose any value of x, what you would try to do is that you would uh, uh, take a x value at this position as 1, y, because, uh, so what you would try to do is that you would try to basically choose uh, x value as 1, because why would you do that? Because uh, since you, if you choose x value as 1, this would, uh, it would make that position uh, for a to be 0, because you have to do zor with x right so one zor one is zero right i hope you know these all properties zero zor to one is zero uh, sorry one one zor zero is one and zero zor zero is zero so if you do this it will make and turn convert uh, the the set bit in a to zero and it would side by side convert the set bit uh, sorry the unset bit in the b to be set it would convert in uh, and unset b in set uh, unset b unset bit in b to be set right so like and one more thing if both the bits are 0 0 and 1 1 in uh, a and b so this would neither increase nor decrease my answer right like this would never decrease or increase my answer because if both bits are set in uh, set as 1 and or 0 it would not affect like because you want the at the end you want the difference right so i, I hope you got that so the case where like a is set to 1 and b set to 0 you try to maximize b by taking zor as uh, x as 1 as x is set in this position because that would make this 1 to 0 and this 0 to 1 otherwise if that a is 0 and b is already done you would try to just continue just one thing you need to no uh, note is that you would do this for all the values uh, but just you would not uh, affect the first position so what i'm trying to say is that uh, imagine that this was uh, A and this is B, right? So now, as I told, you, now as I told you that if the A is set, A is beta set and B is B beta not set, so you would try to take zor one. But imagine that if you took x as one here itself, then this would convert this A into zero and this B into one. But this would then become a higher value so like since you would need to tr trying to minimize a maximize b but this would like uh, you, then you have to then uh, again take the reverse condition that now you, you need to minimize b and maximize a because since you said this to zero so for convention we would always assume that a is greater than b if it is not we can just swap that otherwise we can just take a greater than b and uh, Yep, you have to proceed it further. So this was the first part. The second part is that now x was in the range 1 to r, right? So this is just a simple case. So what we can do is that we will find the maximum set bit in the position in the r. Okay. Uh, like we can do in two ways. Uh, like we would while 
traversing this we would try to construct an array uh, uh, the value of x and with and check like so what i'm trying to say is that uh, imagine that this was like uh, set bit in a and this is uh, unset bit in b and initially you had already encountered this type of value like this is the whole array a uh, whole set bit set of a and b so in, initially a is 1 and b 0 so in this case we will just move in the first case itself i am talking about because you have to set uh, set the bit a and unset the bit 0 now if afterwards if you uh, if you find any values which is set in a and b in, uh, which is unset in b if you will try to unset this in a and we will try to set this in b right so if, if when you will be able to do so if by placing x uh, so x you have constructing in survey so basically if this in in the first position you would set you would uh, make x as zero because this would not affect it now imagine that this was the x concert now since you have to place one here you would place one here and check like if my x is less than equals to r which is given if that is so then i am able to take one otherwise you have to take forcefully x as zero so this was just uh, the way which in which you could have handle that right so i hope you got the explanation till now so this is the solution code so let me uh, just show you my solution code so first thing was that uh, what did i do in this i took the input a b and k and uh, i found the max position which was set in k so why this was important because in then only i would uh, know which was the position which is uh, in which it is maximum set in k like because i have to ensure this condition that x belongs to 1 to r so in order to do this now uh, oh. what did i do uh, now what did i do i f first uh, okay we had to also think this in mind that uh, I said the uh, priority of A to be greater than B. You could also do the reverse, but this is this in general to keep in mind that A is always higher. So I took out both the values in uh, A and B which was set. And if uh, if A is not equal to bit B, right? A bit, bit is, A bit is not equal to B bit, then it means that like either both are 1, 0 or 0, 1, right? In the both are 1, 0 or 0, 1. So in this case, if uh, if this is the uh, first if first case is there that a bit is one b bit is zero, then don't do anything. Otherwise, I swap the swap a and b both, and I just break. So this ensures that a is greater than b. Now I formed a function find which finds my value, and I printed the answer. So now let's uh, look what is the how the find function is performing. So uh, this is to this you have to ensure that you would traverse from the highest priority bit itself. Also, like this question was. Like it, the constraints were tenth per eighteen, so uh, it would be long, long. So you have to take care of that. It has not thirty-two bits; it has sixty-four bits. So I started from sixty-three. Now I took both the bits. Now I maintained a false variable. So this says that since now, okay, you know that a is greater than b. So when can be the case? Only when. Uh, only when like there is a bit in a such that it is when an it is 1 in A and B, 0 in B. Why? Because then only it would ensure like that it is greater. So it can be like this, like 0, 0, 0, 0 can be there before B. So just let me write it properly. So I am tell I was telling that there is one bit in A which is set to 0, uh, 1 and one bit, the corresponding bit is set to 0 in bit B. Uh, it, there can be instances such that both bits are 1, 1 and equal or it can be 0 in A and B. But I'm concerned about the first bit because these all bit do not affect my answer. This bit, this position affects my answer. So now if uh, A bit is 1 and B bit is 0 and if it is not flag. So it was the first time that I encountered this value. So I, in this case, I have to construct X as like this. So initially X would be constructing like this. Now I would construct uh, X as 0, right? Because I would not change the value of A and B. Now I would try to maximize B as I explained. Over. So how can I do that else? I would try to form a new x. So nx is new x. So if if uh, if I am able to like if I so this is the else part, right? So uh, this is the case when a bit was one and b bit was zero. So 
in the further cases I'm talking about. So for example, uh, you found after some bits or some positions that A bit was 1 and B bit was 0. Now you would try to maximize this by making this into this, this corresponding stages. So to, to do this, you have to take X as 1 here in this position. But only if after adding this X to the original X, if the new X is less than K, then only you would be able to add this X. Otherwise, you have to add, add X as 0 forcefully. So if that is the case, I add the value of X. Otherwise, I add it to 0. And at the end, I perform like in this way x was constructed and I and I and then I performed Zor operation with and I put return the absolute difference between them. So yes, this was the solution. So I hope you like the explanation and thank you for considering the window and do consider liking and subscribing the video. Thank you.